Hey y'all, and welcome to Skyrim Scripting. On this episode, we're going to make a variety of Skyrim console commands. And while we do so, we're also going to make a simple interface for console commands to store their own data. You know, without dealing with those pesky papyrus arrays and things like that. So I've got a list of ideas for my commands. I know that for sure, the one command that I want to do is mark, I guess it's a pair, mark and recall. You may know these as the spells from Morrowind. I want us to be able to be anywhere in Skyrim, open up the console and just type mark, or maybe mark my favorite spot, and then wherever else we go and we wander around, we wander around, we can open up the console and type recall, and we'll bounce right back to that spot, or like recall my favorite home or, or whatever, something like that. So what I wanna make of that, I finally have console commands kind of working well enough to do this. We're definitely going to work on console commands as we go, but let's go ahead and start by making just a, a pack O console commands because we're going to make a number of them. I'm just going to call it um, uh, NP's console command pack. Cool. And I'm going to make sure that my creation kit opens it up because we gotta go in there, we gotta make a quest. We gotta make ourselves a quest. Because that's where we attach all of our commands. All right, let's boot that on up. Boot it up, boot it on up. All right, let's save this because we do need an ESP because we need a quest. I'm just calling it MP custom command pack. Whatever, I think that's cute. And if I actually use it, I can rename it to whatever. So, where is my quest? I need to make one character quest new. Let's just call it MP console command pack commands. We can call it quest, but I'll just call it commands. And then uh, what we do is we attach different commands as scripts. So, I don't want to do mark and recall first. Um, let's do one that takes you to the main menu. You know how QQQ will quit to desktop? I haven't found a console command that will take you to the main menu and it bothers me. It bothers me a great deal. So we'll say main menu command and we'll make it just implement uh, extend quest for right now, but we are going to change that. Cool. If we edit this, right click at its source, this is so small, but you should be able to do something like extends console command. Let's see if that works or if it blows up. Cool, it compiles. If you've got console commands, you should be able to extend console command. And then uh, we can just type something like, this is so small, but uh, I'll switch over to visual code in a second. I'm just typing event on command, open close parentheses, end event. And in there, I'm just going to type print hello from main menu script. Let's see if that saves. Cool, it compiles. I'm gonna close out of here, close out of here, save this, and I'm gonna open up Skyrim. Okay, there's the script that we made, and it's just going down. So it's just main menu command, and we do something like this guy. Oh, we missed a good part. Then it kind of goes down, I like it. All right, so now on the console, we should be able to just like, um, it's actually going to be called main menu because we didn't give it a special name. So now it just says hello from main menu script. Cool. If we wanted to, we should be able to name that thing um, just like uh, MM, like there's QQQ, we could do MMM, or I'll just do MM for main menu. Uh, so we'll just do function, uh, which is setup. The one I'm currently using for stuff like this is uh, info, where you set like the name of your script or your command rather. You can set the author information. You can set like the version. We're doing all stuff like that, but I'm just gonna say mm. Uh, so now let me try it in game again. Oh, I'm gonna have to compile it. I'm gonna have to turn this into a project file so I can compile it. Oh, okay, cool, I can compile it now and I can even hover over these things and see like descriptions of what they do. Um, yeah, cool. So let's check this out in game. 
And I got my lovely Khajiit here in uh, Riverwood. So let me just try, uh, let's try main menu again. It says main menu is not found. Let's try MM. Cool, it says hello for main menu script. Let's just make that go to the main menu like super quickly. I think it's just like game.main menu. Game.main, quit to main menu. Save build, go in the game and we should have our first command done. It's raining hard in Riverwood. Let's see if MM does what we want it to do. We're at the main menu. Ah, we made our first command. What do we want to make next? I got this little list. I'm going to cross uh, cross that one off. Come on, QQQ. Did I break QQQ? How could QQQ be broken? It doesn't even make sense. I think I have maybe a thought. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nothing's gonna do this except for main menu. Main menu is really uh, particular, like very specific in that it's gonna bail and it's going to leave back to the main menu where you've got a console, but we can't handle the custom console commands. And the um, uh, the console is about to like, doesn't close. We have the console open. And uh, so we don't deregister the custom commands. So I'm gonna say console helper. Dot. I say do register disable enable native blah 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 blah. Can I just say console helper dot disable or uh, unregister unregister for custom commands? We'll disable custom commands. I guess you need to give that an event name. Let's just try and say. Enable the native handling of the return key. Because by default, we take over the game's ability to know what happens when we press enter. We just take that over. And when you bail to the main menu, it doesn't remember how to do that. So the question is going to be, can we, we definitely want that in the other order. We definitely want to fix that and then quit to the main menu. Our command's already been called, so we don't need other commands to be able to be called. Uh, yeah, all right, let's try this. All right, sometimes I cheat and I test it, but I didn't cheat and test it. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, so right now stuff works. Let's go to MM. It's gonna send us to the main menu. Ah, it works again. Cool, that was a weird gotcha. Okay, that makes total, total sense. Um, you may not have known to write this, but hopefully it makes sense to you that like we take over the enter key and then when we send you back to the main menu, we never gave back the game control over the enter key because that's how custom console commands works. Um, so what do we wanna do? I'm gonna cross off main menu from the list. I've got dance, I've got mark recall, I've got follow to get a follower. I've got duplicate to give a duplicate object. I've got mine uh, as an idea so that things will be marked as owned by you so that you can steal them. Uh, let's make mine. Next, I actually go into creation kit and we're just gonna make, gonna make like a bunch of these. Uh, I don't wanna start the game. I don't wanna start the game. And we'll keep them blank and we'll implement the ones that we find interesting. We'll do mark and recall like maybe now and if we get stuck on something, maybe we'll take a break and we'll make one of the other ones. So I'm gonna open up uh, MP's console command pack. It's kind of cute. Uh, I wanna ship console commands with like a pack of console commands. And so I, I think it'd be cute to have a bunch of examples that do stuff and uh, it'll optionally be bundled with it. Uh, the main bundle with, will come with console helper, um, console commands and a pack of commands that's going to be the main bundle on like the nexus page but you can install the things individually a j containers is going to be the only dependency okay so let's go to mp let's add a couple i wish this were twitch so you could tell me what you want to make um 
I, I could do this tomorrow on Twitch. Today's a Saturday, and I'm going to Twitch tomorrow. But I want to make MCM menus for these things during my Twitch tomorrow. I think that'll be interesting. So maybe I'll save some for tomorrow. Let's just do mark and recall. Let's do mark command. Um, let's give it a description. Uh, this saves the current position, which can be teleported to later using the recall command. I don't know, something like that. Could be better. Cool, that's the mark command. Let's make the um, recall command. Pretty proud of the fact that you don't have to say, like, the name of this command is recall. It just grabs it from the script name. Um, teleport the player to the specified or default uh, location stored using the mark command. This is going to be interesting because we're going to actually save stuff. Um, cool. Should we make this? Should we save a couple more? I want one that clears the console. I want one that's like a welcome message. I can do all this stuff during the Twitch stream. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do everything that's not mark recall during the Twitch stream. Okay, let's go into the code. What do we want to do? We want to make it work real good. Make it work, make it work real good. We're going to say event on command because that's how, that's how it works. That's how it works. All right, we need the position of the player. And I think you can get the position of any object reference in the world, which the player is one of. Actors are object references. So we can say actor player equals game get player. And then I think we can just say like x, y, z equals. And uh, let's just store it on the quest for right now. We do have to extend a console command and that'll make all the magic happen for us. So let's just say int x, int y, and to Z, and we'll just store one position using little local fields. That's what these are called, private fields. Um, that's what they're called in most programming languages. So we'll say x equals player get position x, y equals player get position y, z equals player get position z. I guess these don't return integers. Okay, they return floats. That makes sense. It makes way more sense for accuracy. Cool, and we'll just say save. Like, we'll just print um, uh, marked. Let's go for recall. Ooh, we need to be able to share these with recall. Ooh. Ooh. We could have global variables, right? Um, but I think all of a sudden we already want to use some kind of custom storage thing because I want you to just be able to, as a lazy programmer, just like add stuff to a list or set some variables and have it maybe even integrate with the configuration MCM menus that we're going to make. So I guess instead of doing this, we're going to say, uh, store float that and you'll give it a name. We'll just say x. Store float. This doesn't exist. It's just what we're going to make. y and z. Cool. Store float totally doesn't exist. Let's go make it. And then we're going to make it so that different commands can get uh, data from other commands if they want to. So we'll be able to get the float from the mark command from the recall command. So let me open this up. I've got it kind of hiding on a different screen. It's my custom console commands. I was debugging stuff because it was totally not working. Totally not working. Not working for me or you. All right, so, and this is what has like, um, the thing that you set the name like we did with uh, MM. Um, Got a bunch of stuff that's some stuff's not fully done yet, like enabling and disabling commands. 
uh, this is the on command thingy and uh, it gets invoked so what do we want to do let's make a section for storage oh yeah what's up puppy dog you want to come hang out you want to come hang out beyond the video you shy um storage setters and then we'll have storage getters so let's say function store float which takes a key string key and a it takes a um float value dope sauce and uh, i want to be able to do this from the uh, global console commands dot interface so what we'll probably do is say something like uh, store this key and value for this console command. Now the console command within console commands, the system, isn't known by its name. It's actually known by this little integer called command ID. Um, it's actually kind of nice because it allows you to rename the command and we can actually add multiple names for the command. We could have had main menu and mm if we wanted to support both. So I want to make sure that that kind of stuff works. So we're going to say console commands dot Store float um, that one I would want to take a string like uh, my command um, so let's look here and see what the functions kind of look like on this file it's not actually a lot here add int option you always take the names of the command um, down here there's some helpers for getting things from the parse result um, so let's say now command storage so we'll have store float but let's just say have command store edge float for command I'm gonna roll with command store float and anything that starts with command underscore will be something that accepts the command ID like here like this as the first parameter so key value it's cool and there won't be a default on the setter the getters will have a default value um, let's go make this. Let's make it now. I just see it's you should have seen my microphone array levels. Let's go red, red, adorable. Um, let's make a section for storage setters and getters over here. In console commands. I really like this outline. I don't know if Sublime Edit has this, but it's dope and I love it. Flags, options, parsing stuff. Let's put it above the parsers. Storage setters. That's all that got pasted in. Storage setters. So let's say setters and getters. I don't know if you understand why I'm going through this uh, little hurdle hoop. I, uh, I want if you want to really customize console commands and not use that extends console command interface, I want that to be possible using all these global functions. And so that's why there's two interfaces for this. There's the global console commands and there's the extend console command. And both from underneath the covers are implemented by our private underscore underscore console commands a thing, which I might rename to like CC private or something. Um, I don't like how it shows up in the drop down with the double underscores. It's more visible than I want it to be for folks. So, whoops. Actually, that's fine. Store float. I have dog allergies. I ran out of dog allergy pills. It's very sad. I'm sneezy. Sneezing in 2021 is like not the same as sneezing as in 2019. Um, let's call it this. 
Okay. Hey. Right. It's going to take an int for the command ID. I just call it command. And it's going to call one more level deep. Uh, it's going to do what most of these things do. They're, it's going to get an instance of our underlying interface, the underlying API, the engine, the machine that drives all of this. CCC is what I call it for console commands, even though it's no longer called custom console commands. I call it CCC for some reason. Maybe I should just call it CC. Hmm. Hmm. CC. C. CC. Boop. Yes, I want to replace 88 occurrences. Now it's called CC. Um, let's say CC dot store float command ID key value. Vroom, loud car out there. Vroom. Vroom. Let's actually call it copy this whole thing so that we can put this over there too. Um, this one is getting big. There's all kinds of stuff inside of it. Okay, I've got 16 OAs of scripts so that I can support uh, 2048 console commands if I want to. I'm actually going to double that to get up to 4096 before I ship just because, I don't know, why the hell not? There's barely any downside. Um, okay, where should I add it? This thing could use a little bit of organization. Where's the parse result stuff? You know, I'm just going to put it at the bottom for now. Store float. Ooh, this other one needs to be global. This is all global commands. Uh, store float. So now we actually store the float. So we're going to have it so that every command has its own storage. Um, I think under command, I'm just going to put storage. So like maybe whenever you make a command or a subcommand, uh, we'll make this thing called storage. So let me make a storage key. This is just my kind of constants for when I look up things and maps and whatever. So whenever we make a, it's right down here, data helpers, create and register a new command, create and register a new command map. Uh, we'll just go ahead and create a new map of keys to values which this thing uses. Now we could use JDB, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Let's do jmap dot um, set object command map on, on the command map, and we'll do this with the sub command map too. Um, for the, what did we just call this thing? Storage key, we're gonna make a new jmap. Uh, you can see us doing it with other things here, so like, we make a map of subcommands. We make a map of flags and options and stuff like that. Um, and but there's some just like default values. So I'm going to do the same thing with subcommands, which is like right below here. So options enabled. This one should have, have enabled to consistency. Cool, now they've got storage keys. What that means is we can easily do getters and setters, like pretty trivially. Uh, we've got a key and we've got a value, so let's just put it there. Uh, let's have a little helper that just gives us the storage map for a command. So storage helpers, uh, we'll just say int storage for command, int command ID, and function, I always forget to write function. I'm very used to um, languages like Dart and uh, Bash and a number of other ones. Yes, Bash is a language that lets you uh, write functions without that. So 
Mm -hmm. I'm just going to return uh, jmap.getObject on the command ID on the command map we're going to get the storage key which is a nice little helper so to store float all we do is we say jmap set float on that storage object for the command and then we just give it a, a key and a value. That's it. String key, float value, main object. Oh, you can't name it key. Whatever. Um, key arg. Whatever. Because keys are a thing in the game. It's really frustrating sometimes in Skyrim. Key is not a variable. Okay, I did it in console command 2, 208. Let's call this key arg. Key arg, save. Let's head over to that function. Key arg. I might rename key arg to something nicer. Oh, you know, I will. And because I have consistency with key arg, I can easily just change key arg to storage key. I like that a lot better. If we can't have key. Cool, let's build. Cool, totes compiles. Uh, that's exciting, but we can't see it actually doing anything until we use our recall command. And this should update in a moment and let and know that we implemented this. Let me just go like that. There we go. Um, we didn't add a little helper method documentation for this, so let me document it. Uh, I actually guess right now just store float has nothing to do with subcommands. So let's actually just have this be for the command. I accidentally made it to storage key. I said that subcommands get it. Let's say subcommands totally don't get that. Um, there's just one, your command has it. And if you want your subcommands to have their own data, you can just make your storage key like subcommand name dot blah and you're golden. So let's do, let's see, set a float value for this command using the provided key. Cool, 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 cool. I could go back in here and hit enter or something. Cool, we get that little documentation, which I love. Cool, marked, which is great. Let's go on over to recall and get it working. Let's get it working. I'm excited to get it working. Loud slamming of doors. Um, event on command. Uh huh. I don't know why that like tune in particular is in my head. Cool. So we want to get the XYZ, and right now we're just storing like XYZ. We will store ones like with specific names, but we just want to get this working. So we want to say get float. Um, man, let me wait until people stop slamming doors. Here we go, here's the dog. Let me turn around. Oh, it's a dog. Doggity dog. That's just fuzz on the side. It's not dirty. She's uh she sheds a lot. You're the dog. You should look at the audience. Look at the audience. You don't know where they are. Boop. Oh, you've got a cookie. You've got a cookie. Good job. She's amazing. Um and she looks really weird here. So, oh, how are we gonna do it? How about let's say uh, get float. We've got store float, and we'll say get float, um, which is different than uh, get option float, which gets it from the options. We'll just say store and get, maybe, kind of like it. We could say set and get. Store float, get stored float. I want it to be too complicated. I want it to look beautiful, just beautiful. I'm gonna roll with get float for now. And so we'll just say x, and we'll say int x equals get float x, and y, and z. So y, y, z, z. And of course, when we implement this, this is going to get it from the recall command storage. So let's do it this way. Command equals mark 
get it from that command. What do you think? I kind of like it. Let's go make it. Uh, so get float with an optional, of course, command. And uh, I don't know if it will let you store a float for to an opposite to another command, but maybe. I mean, if you've got a couple of commands that are really, really, really tightly integrated together, sure, why not? I mean, you're shooting yourself in the foot if you do it wrong. It's not our fault. Storage getters. So let's say um, function get float string storage key because we can't say just key and uh, by default there'll be a command which is empty just like that behind me but I say string on that and because uh, by default it'll just be the main command we'll just look at it if uh, it's not so let's just pass this along like we were doing to console commands and we'll make something that's like function command command get float from an int command id and we'll actually put some logic in our console command because we'll have it toggle whether it uh, uses its command or a different command um, we'll say string storage key and then you don't provide a value but you can provide a float default which will default to uh, 0, 0.0 what you would normally do with a float cool and then just like up here we've got we get this kind of main interface and then we say store float um, which I know it looks like it's going through a lot of layers but I want these two interfaces and I want the implementation separate it's just nice and clean and encapsulated um, really encapsulated things. I might have multiple other scripts to handle different things, one for parsing, one for something else, but I really want to ship this with as few scripts as possible. Uh, we're going to have four. The player script, the quest script, uh, the console command base interface, and the console commands global interface. So we'll say store float for this command ID. That's store float. We want to say get float. And we'll pass along the default. So let's just go make this soups quickly. We'll go down to where we were with these other storage functions. We've already got an area for getters. Uh, we'll say, uh, oops, these all need to return a float. And they all need to return. We'll get back to that one. We were kind of ready for that one. Let's do it. And then we need to decide whether which one. So we'll do that in a second. So float function get float because this one's going to be super easy. Uh, int command ID. Remember we used an integer just identifier for the commands. It's not just the command string. It allows us to change the name if we want to. Stuff like that. Uh, this is going to use the same default. It's a little bit redundant, but whatever. And we'll just return jmap.getFloat from the storage from for this command. Whoops, I almost had it. And we'll get the storage key. And then uh, get float actually also has a default, and it also is to is 0, 0.0 by default. We'll pass along the default, so if the user passes along a default, it'll make its way throughout these scripts. And so we're good there. Uh, we should be good here. Yep, it's happy now. Um, girl, baby, good girl. Oh, don't fall. I got you. I got you. I got you. Good girl. Uh, so for this one, we actually want to say if there's a command, we'll do one thing. Otherwise, we'll do something else. So uh, if command, else, and if. Um, so if there isn't a custom command, is not, then we'll say custom, uh, custom console commands. I'm still saying that, my old name for this project. 
um, console commands dot um, command get float uh, where we use this one's command key if, um, command ID storage key and we pass along a default which right now we don't have and let's say string or float default equals 0.0, .0. Uh, in case people want to use positional arguments, we'll do the key and then the default because um, people are super unlikely to want to do this extra command flag. Uh, and we'll return. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, we didn't make this global. Cool, now it's happy. Um, 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 um. If there is a command, then what we want to do is we want to get the ID of that other command. And so um, we're just going to call into um, console commands here, the actual private interface. I don't love doing that from this. I like delegating to uh, the global one as much as I can, but whatever. Um, you know, actually, here's what we'll do. For the global one, the interface would look like this. You say get float in the command name and the storage key. Um, that's kind of what the global interface is like. You use the command string as the identifier everywhere. Um, that's what I like the public kind of interface to be, but internally we use this identifier thingy. So let's do get float. Let's go over here to console commands. Command get float. And then um, you could put these next to one another. There's a couple ways we could organize it. I'll for now just have these next to one another. This would just be called get float. String command. And you won't be surprised that this is just going to delegate to this. Um, it's going to get that, and it's going to say um, get command map for a command name. Glad I named it that because so many things it's it's hard to remember. Uh, int command map equals that's the identifier for the command. We'll say uh, if if it return one, because otherwise this doesn't exist, else, and if. So if it return one, we're just going to return command get float using the command map, that's the identifier, which I use command ID all over the place or command map all over the place. So it was more consistent. I don't like that confusion, but uh, default. Cool, and if there isn't one, We'll just return the default, and we should trace and say, um, oops, debug. We could do log. I've got log and debug, where log usually will get set up to go to the uh, console. But I'm just going to debug, which normally goes just the papyrus log is how I would have it configured. I'm tired. Um, uh, command not found, and I'll say uh, get get float command not found and command. Cool, works for me. Works for me. Works for me. I think this might work, you guys. We just need to teleport there. Uh, let's see if this builds. Get float is not a function, blah, 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 blah. I'm probably just waiting for it to show up. Get float, get float, get float, get float. Float function, get float. It's right there, you silly, silly thing. Oh, wait. it's quest. Console command. Uh, what's why is it pissed about these uh 
of these are ints. Flout. So let's teleport there. I don't remember how to do it. Um, actor player equals game get player player dot move to. See, move to takes an x y z offset, but it's offset from a particular object that you're moving it to. What about package location? Force movement direction. movement speed I'll pause if it takes me more than a sec but you can look with me I'm pulling up the object reference script because I think you can move any object reference not just actors not for move Moves the object to the same location as the past in reference offset by a specified amount. Shit. Moves the object to a interaction target. I mean, there's spells that do this, so I know that you can freaking do it. You, it looks like there's a set position. See if that's on object script or if it's on actor. Sweet. Oh, thank goodness. Set this object's position. Nice. Well, I'm, I'm saying nice now. We don't know. It's player set position. I mean, these come from the position XYZ. So let's do XYZ. And let's console print um, recalled. Total recall. It compiles, you guys. Should I pause while we load uh, the game, or should I just um, run it with you? Let's find out if it works at the same time. So I'm not cheating and looking ahead. Sometimes, for the purpose of screencasting smoothness. I'm like, let's go look at it in the game. And then I look at it in the game myself. I debug it if it breaks. And then I'm like, here's a thing we forgot to do. And shit like that. So, um, well, let's go over here. Let's jump up on some rocks or something. Can we get up here? Let me up here. Let me up here. I want to recall this somewhere stupid. On top of this rock. Here we go. We're on this rock. So let's say mark. Marked. Let's go somewhere else. I wonder if this is going to work. Uh, we could save the angle that the player is looking in, too. We might want to do that. Because I bet we'll be looking in this direction. Because we're not doing those angles. What's up, phone? Call from scam likely. Recall. Oh god, we're gonna die. <laughs> so, let's see, where did we die though? I should toggle god mode on. So that we can see if we actually get uh, teleported to the right place. Let's go cross. Um, we died while the uh, custom console commands were on. So I need to, in my custom console commands, actually get player death. Um, can I add that as a note? Um, I need to catch player death because that sends you to the main menu. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that before I forget because that'll suck to forget. Let's go to actor script. Oh no, let's go to events. I just have all this stuff in my history. Now I think it's death on death. Let's just see what the parameters are though. I think there's killer. Yeah. I don't know if we need to like register that we're listening for on death. Some of them, 
Some of them are like that. When the actor finishes dying. Okay, cool. Now let's say console helper dot uh, enable native handling. Is that what we said in the uh, main menu one? Do you guys remember? Yeah, okay, cool. So if you die, we'll uh, turn that on. Let's actually test that. First, let's go in and toggle God mode, and uh, we'll um, we'll go to like a different city, and we'll see the mark we call hopefully take us back to a different city, even though even if we die. Uh, so we'll start in. Um, let's go to the docks. I think uh, seriously, Solitude Docks or one. Cool. There's a Kajit. It's marked. Marked. Let's um, associate to Riften. I know we're just Riften. Let's, let's do. Is there a Riften exterior? Oh, one. Um, I don't want Riften to be in bar. Eat it. But we'll go there. People of Riften, heed my word. Uh, now let's recall. And uh, I didn't toggle God mode because I want to see if that thing works. Um, ooh, recall this stuck. It's just hanging, y'all. If I close the console. The return of the drag. Uh, it might be because might be because it's in a different location, and we might need to teleport to the location and then set the position. So let's get the character's location and then we'll change the location. So if we go to object reference again, thanks for hanging out with me while we do this. Uh, location, get current location. And uh, hopefully location is a form so that we can store it. Thank goodness it is. So we'll say, um, when you mark, we'll store your location as well. So we'll say store form uh, location player get location okay. it was get current location right cool uh, let's go to store float and just make a store uh, form just by duplicating stuff do you want me to do that without you and then just show it to you I mean I'm just copying and pasting stuff uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this, and then I'll do it here, and then I'll do it here. Uh, cool, I haven't done anything except for uh, uh, I put float everywhere. So now there's getters and setters for uh, form, rather. There's getters and setters for form that are just identical to the float ones. Um, so now we can store a form. Let's just hit enter, and hopefully that'll work. Cool. And now we can get a form. So that's the location. And I think the way it works is you can teleport to a location and then we can set the positions. So let's say player, let's say location, location, location equals get form, location, command equals mark as location. I'm just going to point out there's one thing that is probably better than doing this. Um, doing this get float thing. Uh, we could put this on the mark command and say, uh, we won't do it, but I would normally probably do this. I'd say um, float function get x global and function. Turn. Oh, I need an instance of the script though. Yeah, okay, never mind. There's no good way to get an instance of the script. This interface actually is the best that I can think of. So before we set the position, let's player dot set location. Is there any location thingy? Moved 
package location, move to editor location. Jeez. And I don't know if location is the, how it's different from cell. I don't know if there's like a get current cell or something. Let's say player.cell. Get parent cell. Let's see what that's document. Get the cell this object is in. And now can you move to a cell? Man. You know, I'm going to figure out how to do this properly, but, and probably during this episode when I pause, but, um, do you want to try and get the name of the cell and see if we can teleport to it? Um, would that be the form, not the form ID? Let's just try and get its name. I kind of want to see if we can COC to its name and then set a position. Like a debug.center on cell takes a string and then set the position. I don't know if the code will run after that or not though. I don't know. Okay, let's print out where it has us teleporting to just to see what this cell name is, if get name even works. So we'll print a uh, moving, recalling, player to and we'll print out that cell name. I don't know y'all. I just don't know what the function is. I'm sure there's a function. Now let's go to solitude docs the one. I'm gonna go two. Is it two up by the big boat? way up at the top. Uh, I want to go to 01 so that when we teleport there it will be odd it's not the uh, mark. That's, whoops. CLC solitude exterior 01. Let's recall from solitude. Hmm. Empty string. You'll see the nothing, you know, like here. So, bro, I'm gonna kill you with my little kitty paws. I'm gonna kill you with my little kitty paws. Oh, I was gonna, I didn't even have time to DGM. Um, cheapers. Um, can I quit out? Cool. Let me look this up. I might refill my tea. I haven't even put my tea on. There's a thing called a recall node. Now let's go to object reference and look for recall. I didn't get that thing. I guess creating, oh, there's a dog, but a marker is common. There's a dog, but um, to give credit where credit's due, I'm looking at. Um, this um, we're not going to do exactly the same thing let's see what their credits are Ugh. Ugh. hey we're not going to improve your files jeez those are some shitty colors make your shit green yo jesus um, and right, I'm not even going to keep looking at that script then because uh, I don't want anything to do with its code I'm just going off of uh, one thing I saw in it, which was moving a marker, and that's what everyone here says to do. So we need a marker. So if we want to mark up to like 10 places, I think we're going to need multiple markers, unless you can duplicate things in code and have them stick around. 
So I think we need a cell with some markers to move. So I guess let's go make those. My T is about to go ding. Let's go make some markers, yo. Here, let me fill my T. Okay. I may have also had some pizza. Balsamic glaze goes really well on a pizza with tomatoes. And jalapenos. Why would you eat anything without jalapenos? Let's get an X marker. So let's open up our console command pack. So it's a good example of something I might not want in the pack, um, anything that has assets like this, but whatever. So we're just gonna go to, we need to load Skyrim. Because we can't add our own cell and have an ESL. But if we use a master like Skyrim and put our shit into their stuff, and Skyrim is a master that it's always safe to load. I just, I prefer not having uh, it when we don't need to. So I'm going over to WE Merchant Chess. Mm-hmm, yeah, I am. We're going to put some stuff in here. Yeah, we are. We're going to go find us an X marker. Boop. Um, we can give it a form ID and we can edit it by whatever its reference one is, like this. We don't need to give it an editor ID, but we can give one, we'll say, um, mark recall teleport marker one. Because I'll probably have like freaking 50 of them or something. I don't know. Okay. Anything we need? I don't know why this would respawn. I'm not going to say respawns. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to save. I'm going to compact. I think it already has a... Um, what is it asking me to... Didn't I already open up? Oh, I opened this up as a master file. I want it to be the damn active. Let me redo this. I want it to be the damn active. Jeez. Uh, but I'm also going to bring in Skyrim. And I'm going to go back to that cell. Yo, in the render window, I would like give anything to Pan. Like, I give freaking anything to just move over to the right. Just move that way. I want to move that way. Without having to like select this and like woo fly around it, I give like anything, y'all, to just move over in one direction. I I don't know how to do that. It's so obnoxious. Oh, I always lose track of stuff, so I'm gonna put some markers over here. I can't find a good way to get it there. I suck at this thing. Uh, what were we calling this? Uh, mark recall teleport marker one. Hit OK. Save. Compact. Save. And we'll just grab its ID from. Uh, so it's D64. D64. Just remember D64. And we should be good. D64. So when you mark, we're going to put it there. We're going to get this thing. We're going to get this marker. So uh, form marker equals, it's really an object reference, but um, equals game uh, get form from file d64. I think we can port, uh, make it an object reference. from mp, what is this thing called? What the hell do we call this thing? mp console command pack. I should have a helper that, um, I should have an mp console command pack command. Oh, I wanna make a commands command. I wanna add that to the list so that you can list all the commands that exist and get their like helps, their help documentation, get their helps. 
uh, commands command. Right, but we're almost done with this. So here we go. Let's get it as an object reference. I think that'll work. And let's move it to us, I think. Just move it to the player. Move to player. I think that's it. And um, let's use this and let's put it in here. Instead of location, we'll say marker. And we'll say marker. I don't know if you're allowed to have something called marker. Cool you are. There's no script called marker. So in the recall, instead of getting all this nonsense, uh, we're just going to get a marker. And we might want to actually grab the angle that you're looking at. That would be nice, because uh, this might not put us looking in the same area. I saw that in some of the forums. So get marker from the mark command as an object reference. And then we could just say move to it. Did I spell something wrong? Uh, uh, actor player equals game get player. And let's move the player there. Uh, player move to the marker. Compiles. Let's try it in game. I'll go there with you now. I'll go along with you. I don't think my tea is cool enough to drink yet. I'm not even gonna try. I can like feel the heat coming off the tea. You know what I mean? Girl, there's a dog hiding behind me. You don't want to be on camera? Okay, right, cool. Let's go to some stupid place. But we'll be outside. Let's go to this a mill. Dragon. Can we get on top of that thing? Oh. I'm gonna top of it now without falling off. Here we go. Mark. Let's keep running. Mark. Cool, now let's COC to like, I don't know. Solitude docks so one. And let's recall from there and see if we end up on that stupid spinning wheel. Oh, it says recalled. Got to be me now. Okay, so this totally works within the same cell. Let's go to the same stupid place that we were at before because I thought it was adorable. Um, and it looks like if we um, um, are in the same cell, then we're golden. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Come on, I got people watching me. Come on. There we go. I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, Mark. Let's go somewhere else. Okay. Got business here in Riverwood, eh? Yeah, let's just recall from over here. First village. Uh, I guess we're at the bottom of it. But it's close enough. Over here. New to Riverwood? Stand on this thing. Go see Father. Mark. Maybe. Go jump in the water. Maybe it. Recall on that thing. Cool. But it totally doesn't work if we're in another cell. Arr. So how do you move to the cross cells? Honestly, shouldn't that work? I think I've used move to. Shouldn't that work? Instead of using a marker, I might totally use like an apple. Mark. Let's go to, uh, I don't know, let's go to Falkreath. I can't spell it right now, I'll go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go to, um, 
Solitude, Doxa 2, the 1. Oh yeah. Solitude, Dox, the 1. Jeepers. That one is totally supposed to work. Who thought? Yeah, and we're in the same place. Okay, that totally works. That totally freaking works. Um, and we could just make more of them if we want to. Let's go, um, oh, let's, let's see if we need a solitude linking skeever. Let's specifically go somewhere here. Over on top I have of this no dude. business with you. Leave Who me. has no business with us? We'll mark. And then we'll go to, uh, Clifton B and Barb. There's a guy People talking about blah 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 blah. Words. I always disable him because he's annoying. Uh, and now we're gonna recall. Go away. I have more important we're things right on my mind right now. Ta-da! Ta-da! We have a teleportation spell command thingy. Ta-da! Should we make any before we bail? Or should we call that? It's about an hour and six minutes. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's do one more where um, you can... Uh, um, look at items that are not yours. Let's add this command. And uh, it'll change the ownership to you so you can steal stuff without stealing stuff. You can just say mine. Um, I kind of wanted to call it like yoink, but that implies that you take it. I kind of want gimme, which gives you a, uh, puts in your inventory an instance of whatever your cursor is on. Go MP, see the police siren out there, if you can hear it. All right, I made a bunch of them. Uh, clear the console, duplicate an object, and place it right where um, the existing one is. Follow to get someone to just follow you. That might need an AI package. I don't know if we'll do it. Hide to make you invisible um, until you say hide again to make yourself visible again. Um, we got mark and recall. Mine is the one that I'm interested in right now. Uh, is there an invisibility? Look for spell invisibility. Does this last for like forever? Um, has a cost. Does it have, uh, can I just apply this effect? I'll just keep casting this on the player or something once we use that one. All right, so let's do some of these. Um, what do you want to do first? Uh, clear the console should be easy. This is just a uh, event on command and events. Uh, console helper dot um, clear body text done. Um, we can make it clear the header too. And it could clear everything. Cool. The header is like where it shows the selected ID of whatever. Oh, I wonder if my audio got out of sync or not. This would be a long video to like wait to render when I have to change the audio and video tracks to be like off by whatever milliseconds. Um, how about duplicate? Let's duplicate something. Event on command. And event. Let's get whatever you're looking at. Object reference. Um, target equals game. Get current console ref or get current crosshair ref. Let's try both. So let's say, um, if you have something in the console, then we'll do that. Uh, if uh, there's no target chosen in the console, we're gonna use your crosshair. So that you don't have to click. Um, we'll say um, target equals game crosshair ref. Uh, if no target, and if we'll just print out no target to duplicate, no target object to duplicate. Otherwise, we'll just, um, why is that thing annoyed? 
because oh, we are not a console command. Uh, and then I think, can we just make a temp duplicate? Um, isn't there like target dot temp clone move to this temp clone give you as an object reference? Oh, it's a form? That blows. How do you duplicate something really easily? Right, I forgot, I've used this before. Place at me. It takes a form or like an actor base or something. Um, place at me. So I think we just say object, place at me object. Let's try it. Say target dot place at me target. Cool, that's dupe. Uh, follow event on command and event. Uh, let me grab the follower faction so I can just add them to the follower faction and then set their follower like relationship status to whatever. Here you can look with me but I want to grab this invisibility code first. So let's go to hide uh, event on command and event, uh, let's do spell invisibility equals game get uh, form, and it's from the base game. So we don't need to say from file, and it's 27eb6, uh, 27eb6, 27eb6, 27eb6. E B six. Isn't it funny how humans kind of need to repeat that? Cool, as spell. Um, let's do this, let's say int, um, oh, what is the default, so they have different magnitudes, cost, this is duration 50, duration 40, this must be seconds, visibility vampiric, is there a permanent one, sort by spell, both hands and visibility. Cool, let's get the, these are effects, so we'll just cast it and uh, we'll make sure, because it has a duration of 30, we'll make sure to recast it every 10 seconds or something. Um, we'll say int currently hiding, which is false. Bool, I'm an idiot. Um, when you do the command, we'll say if you're currently hiding, and if, else if, and if, oops, uh, if you're not currently hiding, let's just cast this command on you and let's start casting it. Um, let's say player dot c. Invisibility dot cast on no source. Do it on the player. If you're currently hiding, we set currently hiding to false and we stop hiding. So here we set currently hiding to true. What we'll do is we'll have an event on update. And that'll basically say the same thing almost. It'll say, um, if currently hiding, then cast this thing on you, and then register for an update. Let's say int float interval equals every 10 seconds or something. We do it every 20, every 30, every whatever. Let's do 20 to the uh, whatever. And so we'll do um, register for single update interval and interval. Cool, but what I don't know is how to uh, take the effect off of you, how to make you just appear and how to make that 
invisibility stop. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. You can dispel the uh, effect. So, um, it, it only has one effect. We know that. So we'll just say, here's the spell. Uh, we'll just dispel from the player its effect. So we can just be kind of lazy here. And we'll just say, um, uh, actor player equals game get player. We'll use it in these two places. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Player right behind me. And then what we'll do is we'll say, um, you're currently hiding, set it equal to false, and let's get the effects from invisibility. So we'll say invisibility get, uh, get nth effect. Come on, get effect. You get effect. Get effect areas, get nth effect area, get num effects, get magic effects, turns an array of them. And let's just dispel the zeroth one. Spell, spell that. And a magic effect should work as a spell. that's what I've seen. It's annoying. Interesting. Magic effect array effects equals get magic effects spell spell effects zero. And the code that I'm looking at says that this works. Which obviously will break because you can't uh, Cast, can you cast it as a, as a spell? Uh, no, those are incompatible. How do you spell it? I'm gonna try to dispel invisibility. Cause that's the spell. There's other ways we could do this, but. Okay, uh, main menu, mark, recall, we're done except for mine. So let's say, uh, I think, we didn't finish follow. Uh, event, because uh, I wanted to get the invisibility code. So let's go ahead and do mine on command, event, end event. Let's do what we did in dupe and grab the object. No object to change ownership of. And this would be a console command. Let's make sure these are all console commands. Console command, console command, console command. Console command. Console command. And console command. Otherwise nothing will happen. They won't get registered. If it just is a quest, it'll nothing happens. Looks like there's some comment and out code here that we don't need. Oh, um, yep. Um, I tweaked how I did that, but it doesn't really matter. It works both ways. So, mine. If there is a target object, target set owner, set actor owner, player, get player. Do we need to say actor base? Oh, game get player, because I'm an idiot. Type this match. It's an actor base. Fine, we'll say get actor base. I figured those would be castable, but they're not. Like auto compiler castable. And now finally follow. Uh, let's grab the follower faction real quick. And I'm sure there's different ways to do this, and I'm sure this is a dumb way, but uh, player follower faction. That's a long ass ID. Uh, form follower faction equals game get form. This was fucking long, you guys. That's what she said. 84 D18. Cool. Now let's say, um, oh, let's get the target. 
same deal as this. Uh, but in this case, we want to make sure that they're an actor. Actor target as actor, not target. Target equals that as actor. Uh, no target actor to follow you. We found something, we'll get the follower faction, and then we'll uh, say to this target, the target, um, I think, can we, uh, we can set the faction rank, let's add them to the faction if they're not already in the faction. So if not target in faction, what is it? Is in faction follower faction? No idea if this will work, but um, oh, as faction. Cool. And now let's set the rank. Target uh, set rank faction rank of the follower faction. I think it just needs to be one. You want to try a bunch of commands, you guys? I bet my tea is cool enough to drink. Let's try a bunch of commands. Let's close CK. Let's close CK. Uh, whatever we did, we'll save it. What did we do? We'll save it. Shoot, what did we do? What the fuck did we change? I don't think we changed anything, but whatever. It's not that important. I can redo these things and remake the ESP really, really easily in case I accidentally tweak something in Skyrim. Um, yeah, which we do need as a master for that X marker. Oh, this is down here. I don't like it when it's down there. It should go up here. All right, you ready to try these things? Let's go try and steal something and make it ours. And then we'll duplicate it. That's our dragon. A dragon. Can duplicate a you. A dragon. What is it now, mother? Oops. It was oh, as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. There's still like um. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No advent. There's no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? So Let's that we hear get it. information about what's going on. I was going to just fix stuff, but if you want, I'm going to show you a little preview of what I'm doing. I'm uh, putting the papyrus logs, and I'm going to go over to like because uh, it's duplicate running some stuff. So here's a sweet roll. Let's make it ours. So I'm going to say mine. It says set player as owner of sweet roll. But then it says no target actor to follow you. It's running the follower script, and I'm like, what the F? Parse, mine, mine, looking on command. It's running two commands. Let me find out what's up with that. These numbers all look good. Let's see why it's invoking two commands. It's getting two scripts. It's getting one from array spot zero. But that one makes sense. It's trying to see if there's a sub command that's being run and there isn't. But let's see why it's invoking two commands. Because this totally works otherwise. Do you want to see? I'm going to fix it and then I'll show you because it's pretty bad. So I'm back and then this time I made it uh, just print out connect to the debugger. Uh, made it print out the command that's being invoked. So let me say mine. Whoa. Okay, now we can take it. Say mine. Whoa. I hate it when that happens. All I did was uh, update it to print out some extra stuff in the logs. And that made it work. It's called an eigenbug. When you try and find it, it goes away. I mean, this looks great now. 
I'll try it a couple times. I'll probably try and fix something, try and reproduce some breakages after. I'm sure there's still some quirks, but uh, now we can take the goat cheese. Let's make more of them. Let's duplicate, duplicate it a couple times. Oh, it's not configured so that we can hit up. That bothers me. Let me fix that. I had this before, but uh, console commands was missing this thing that adds whatever you run to the command history. So now I should be able to hit, oh, there's dog, uh, up, enter, up, enter, up, enter. And I want to use that to duplicate a bunch of cheeses. We're back at the sweet roll. Make it mine. Oh, did we do MM by accident? Is he solitude winking skeever? I bet it ran main menu by accident. I think there's something going on with it running like duplicate commands. Let's say mine. And now we're the owner of it. Cool. Let's do it with the cheese. Cool. Now let's duplicate it and get a bunch of them. That's exactly what I wanted because it's hilarious. Okay, let's try and make someone a follower. That guy's already a follower. Let's go to the bartender. If you need a good room or two, I think I can oblige. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Hmm. Remember the Winking Skeever one. next time your foot's sore. Ooh, but let's try and hide. How about that one? It didn't say we're hiding. Oh, it does say we're hiding. That one doesn't have it casting on us. We're so close. Okay, almost done with this. Oh, there's a siren in the background, but because I was running this, I can see can't cast a spell from a nun source. Uh, so we'll just cast from the player to the player. Uh, and then I'll figure out the follower thing in case there's like a trivial way to do it. Uh, and I'm not getting the faction correctly. It says a nun faction, so I don't think I have the right ID. Hi, right, y'all. Y'all ready for this? Bum, 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 ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, bum, 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 ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, bum, bum, bum. All right, there's our commands, right? Let's do all the commands. Oh yeah, boy, let's do the commands. Yeah, let's do it. Bum 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 That's like some Mission Impossible combined with like basketball or something. I don't know. Solitude, winking, skeever. Let's go through the list. Uh, let's clear this. Cool. That's cool. Uh, that's clear. Let's duplicate something. Now there's two of them. Cool. What do we got next? Let's make someone follow us. Who's the bartender? If you need a good room. Added as a follower. Divine smile on you, friend. Oh, Lead man, the way. I need your help. See that? I'm right behind you. I had this option. I'll head back home if you need me. Welcome to the winking skeever, friend. Lead the way. Okay, cool. What's next? Hide. Let's hide. Peace out. Cool. We're hiding. I will do the main menu last. Uh, we'll mark and recall. Let's make something mine. Let's do some booze or something. Let's see, that's already ours, I guess. Maybe this is all ours because of our relationship rank with that person. I think it is. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, let's uh, mark this place. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Riften, D, and Barb. People of Riften, he's here my with words. us. Cool. The return of the. Uh, let's make that mine. Dragons is not mere coincidence. Right, this is one cool. of the signs. Cool. Invisible because I the took signs something. That Lady Mara but I can hide, so that one probably is going to say we're no longer hiding. So we need to tweak that a little bit. Your but we're hiding again. And is there anything else? And you want to recall and then go to the main menu. 
Back to the Winking Cleaver. Cool, we're still invisible. We've got a dude. Let's go to the main menu. Okay, let's make sure that we can COC here. And COC still works. What, what? What, what? All right, y'all. I think that's it for this episode. Thank you so much. We wrote a bunch of fun commands. We made storage work. This was so, so much fun. I'm going to end because we're right about 1.30, one hour and a half. So thank you. Mwah. And for everyone out there, happy modding. All right, happy modding, everyone. Thank you.